Patriots, punk rockers, Americans. It's your old boy, Thursday morning on his way to work, ready to get it done. I tell you, I'm loving this fall weather. Right now it is a brisk 47, and this big boy likes it when it's cold. I ain't gonna lie. Not a big fan of the heat, by any means. So anyway, getting to the point. I didn't really have any plans on doing a video this morning, but when I woke up and I was sitting on the toilet, doing my morning routine, smoking my cigarette, going through the news on my phone, I see where uh, Congressman Representative Elijah Cummins had passed away unexpectedly at 2.48 in the a.m. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't really know a whole lot about uh, Mr. Cummings, uh, other than the fact that I know he did some important stuff in the Civil Rights Movement in the 60s. And uh, he was on a, one of the, he was a committee, he was a chairman on one of the committee chairs in Congress. You know, like to investigate broad shit. I believe this particular committee he was on was one of the main ones that was involved with his impeachment inquiry on Trump, which we all know is a joke. But anyway, I decided to do a little research on him because, you know, I was curious how much his net worth was. You know, because let's be honest, there's a lot of people in Congress that you know are worth millions. You know, they're literally bought and paid for by corporate sponsors and uh, lobbyists. I mean, look at Pelosi. If I'm not mistaken, I think she's last I heard she was worth like maybe 174 million. Now, I'm gonna quote me on that. I haven't researched it. This is what I heard. So I was curious to see how much this guy was worth. I gotta say, I was a bit surprised. Uh, According to Forbes, he didn't even really hit a million yet. He was like uh, 900,000, which, you know, for a congressman that makes 174,000 a year, has been doing it for about, I think he's been in the ball for like 30 years. I'm not 100% sure on that. But, uh, you know, to have only $900,000 net worth, I mean, it doesn't seem like a whole lot to me, so. Maybe he's one of the few that really didn't take a whole lot of money from people, which would be a good thing. Now, I'm by no means talking bad about the guy because, you know, I was raised that you don't speak ill of the dead. And uh, my heart does go out to his family and friends because, you know, I'm sure he meant a lot to a lot of people, you know. So my thoughts and prayers go out with him. But... You know, he was old, 68, which, you know, he's not too old, I guess, but old enough. But he'd been in Congress a long time, is my point. And, you know, you would have thought being in Congress, as long as you have, you know, the district that he represented in Baltimore wouldn't have become the shithole that it is today. And let's be honest, I mean, it's a shithole. Um, you know, we all saw the videos of the rats and garbage. You know, we saw the citizens, you know, complaining that, you know, they weren't being listened to. They weren't getting the help that they needed. So, you know, I wish that, you know, he could have gone out more on top, you know, with the city being in check, not being the dangerous, you know, un almost unlivable place that it's become. You know, so that kind of sucks for him. But it did get me thinking, you know, this is one more reason why, you know, we got to have term limits in Congress. You, know, you got these guys and women that are being elected and a lot of them are running unopposed in their districts and people don't pay attention and the next thing you know what at most should be a four-year career you know turns into a 30-year career and i mean let's be honest congressperson that's a good paying job it's a good gig uh i wouldn't mind running for congress maybe i will one day get $174,000 a year salary. Um, we'll understand as long as you complete one or two terms, even if you don't get reelected, you get that salary for life. I mean, come on. That's a sweet deal. Not to mention, you know, their health care is completely different. Uh, I'm sure they've got the best health care, not like the crap that you and I and every other regular American has to deal with. 
And then, you know, I'm pretty sure they're not having to pay in or worry about Social Security like we do. I'm pretty sure they got their nice own little uh, investment thing that's just special for them. So, you know, you can imagine there's a lot of perks to being a congressperson. But hell, look at AOC. Went from being a bartender, $10 an hour, I guess. So look at her now, man. Fancy haircuts, posh pad, you know, the heart of DC, them fancy clothes, rubbing elbows with, you know, name brand people, big time celebrities, you know, whatever. I mean, she got the golden ticket. And unless, you know, her district wakes up in 2020 and realizes, hey, how did we vote this dumb bitch in? You know, she might very well be one of those that, you know, ends up doing it for damn 15, 30 years. How jacked up would that be? So, yeah. You know, we need to get term limits on these people. You know, four, eight years max, you're done. We bring in somebody new. Because, you know, even on the Republican side, you know, we've got a lot of guys and women that are old as shit. They're out of touch with the world. They're out of touch with the public, you know, with America. They're not representing or doing what we need them to do. You know, I'm going to pick on Republicans here for a second. I mean, you know, Republicans have got to get back to the good old fiscal conservatives that used to be back in the days of Reagan. You know, all this religious shit needs to go. I mean, it says in our Constitution, separation, church and state. You know, keep the religion out of it. You know, all this damn warmongering, you know, going to these damn wars that, you know, we know we can't win. But let's be honest, you know, They've been fighting in the Middle East for damn thousands of years. And there ain't shit we're going to do to stop that. Never. Their ideology is completely different from ours. And you just ain't going to change that, period. You know, so we either need to admit and come out and just say, it, hey, look, we don't give a shit about none of them. We just want the oil. And that's what we're here for. Or we just need to get the fuck out all together and, uh, you know, start drilling and looking for our own natural resources and focus on that shit. But, yeah, man, you know, I feel sorry for, you know, his family and whatnot, but, you know, we've got too many damn congressmen and senators, for that matter, that need to get the fuck out. I mean, if the president can only do a max of two terms eight years, then, you know, nobody should be appointed, you know, lifetime on the bench like in the Supreme Court. And, you know, congressmen and senators should have term limits as well, you know. And we, the people, need to make that shit happen. You know, just like how we, uh, you know, changed the vote names, got it down to 18, like we did that back in the 70s. People did that. We made that happen. You know, just like how we got you know, women the right to vote. You know, the people made that happen. We demanded it. That's what we need to do. We need to demand turn limits for these assholes. Because, you know, we need, we need younger-minded individuals. And I'm not talking about these damn young-ass millennials who are, you know, socialists that are blowing shit out their ass. They really don't know what the fuck they're talking about because they've not lived. You know, they've not experienced life because they've not been around long enough. I'm talking about us in our mid-30s to mid-40s, you know, that range. The ones are dealing with the shit now, you know, starting families, raising families. You know, we're getting uh, settled into our career choices and whatnot. We're the ones that should be running shit. These old ass people need to be on the damn beach down in Miami sipping Mai Tais getting sunburned, you know, and possibly bitching about the shitty job we're doing. That's the way it needs to roll, in my opinion. I could be wrong. But yeah, like I said, I didn't have any intention of making a video this morning, but reading that just kind of 
and felt like maybe I don't want to talk about it. And I'm really curious to see how this is, if it's going to affect the impeachment inquiry on Trump. Because let's be honest, man, this whole thing's a joke. Dems are really shooting themselves in the foot with this one. I mean, come on. Why are we going after Biden and his son? We know they did some shady shit. You know, how come we never went after Obama? You know, with some of the shady shit he did. Fast and Furious. You know, having the IRS dig all the tax information on those Republican senators. I mean, he wasn't no damn angel, but nobody said shit. You know, what about Clinton and Ghazi? I mean, four Americans died on her watch in Libya because she dropped the fucking ball. So Trump asked, you know, another foreign leader to look into corruption. And let's be honest, we've got a lot of corruption in our government. Somebody should be looking into it, somebody from the outside. And I mean, that's what he said he was going to do at the very beginning. He's going to drain the swamp. And who's better to drain the swamp than a con man? You know, somebody knows how shady shit goes down in Dillon's. I mean, you know, if we were trying to do a big drug sting, would we send a good cop, you know, the clean cut kid, undercover? Hell no, we want that Donnie Brasco son of a bitch. You know, the, the cop is going to get his damn hands dirty to get the job done. You know, that's what, you know, Trump is. He may not be the hero we want, but he certainly is the damn hero we need right now. Because we need all this damn corruption to be brought to light so that we can change this shit. Get those corrupt assholes out. I think Trump's doing that. And hell, you know, I mean, hell, if he makes a little extra scratch on the side and goes into his pocket, I mean, with all the bullshit he's had to deal with, I mean, he deserves a little, little, little bonus, right? I mean, we give these damn CEOs bonus. Look at GM. You know, they just laid off how many people? Thousands of damn people. And then she just got approved for like, what, a $22 million bonus? You're giving this woman a bonus? And she's run the damn company into the fucking ground? I mean, I don't know about y'all, but GM makes some fucking shitty cars. No offense to any GM owners out there, but they do. They do as good as my little Honda, the little CRV from little Japan. This little tank. I guarantee if I take care of the engine, I'll get a half a million miles out of some bitch. Try that with a GM vehicle. Anyway, what you gonna do? Again, these are all just my thoughts and opinions. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. So uh, feel free to drop those in the comments. You know, I'd like to know what you think. I also like to see more of you people out there making your own videos. Like I said uh, a couple videos ago, you know, they're trying to shut us down. They want to silence us. They want to shut down that conservative think. So if you've got a camera, you've got an internet connection and a YouTube account, Start puffing out those videos, people. Say what's on your mind. Even if you don't agree with what you know, I'm thinking. If you're left, if you're on the left, you're, you're Democrat. Get them out there. They can't shut us all down. That's what free speech is about. And this is a great platform to do it. So make it happen, people. I want to see some of your channels. See what you come up with. Anyway, ooh, that damn sun's bright. Right in my damn eye, too. Let's hope I can make this turn without hitting something. And we're golden. So, yeah, anyway, um, as always, thanks for liking the channel. Uh, hit that subscribe button. It's appreciated. Hit that notification bell so every time I put up a video, you'll get notified. And let's be honest, some days I'm going to put videos out every day. Other times you may not hear from me in a damn you know, month or two. That's just how I roll right now. I'm all over the damn place until I get something steady set up. Uh, I am looking into Subscribestar. So for any of you out there that, you know, like me, like the content, you want to help me out, uh, I'll be getting that link in my description shortly on one of the videos. Probably not this one, but, you know, videos coming up. So keep an eye out for that. But yeah, 
you know, it's real important to me to get the feedback, you know, good, negative, I don't care, I can handle it, I'm a big boy, I can take criticism, you know, tell me what, tell me the things you'd like for me to talk about, you know, what do you want to see, you know, I'll be honest with you, I used to do motorcycle vlogs, but, you know, here lately, I've just got to the point when I ride my bike, I just want to enjoy the damn ride, I don't want to be thinking about video or sound or shit like that, I just want to enjoy the lot ride and take in the scenery, so that's why I haven't been doing any motorcycle vlogs. But these car vlogs are cool, you know, I'm doing the, the I'm going to start doing more of the live Sloppy Brother Show podcast, so, you know, that'll be cool, as well as, you know, the individual videos, so anyway, lots of things planned, I keep saying that, but, you know, just want to let you know. Anyway, like I said, thanks again for supporting me, and, uh, I will catch you motherfuckers on the flip side. Peace.